Looks ba. B A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does look be badass. Um, this game is freaking awesome, by the way. I mean, the, it's like a procedurally generated RPG world. And, um, like, there's the one village here. I believe he plans, they plan to add, add like, multiple villages for you to go to. Um, but, um, you can also do some really cool customizations to your weapons. Let me see if I can find this smithy. I'll show you something really cool. Uh, where, oh, where did this smithy go? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? Ah, there it is. I don't think there's other villages. I don't think he's added other villages just yet. There might be, but... Like... Yeah, I... <laughs> like, alright, you see this area right here on the map? This is... According to the thing, I've explored about 125 square kilometers, or I have 125 square kilometers to explore. But, if I zoom out, you have the whole continent right here. I believe. I'm not, I'm not sure. It might even get bigger than that. But I am in a small, tiny little segment of this map. It is fun, it's especially fun when you're playing with friends. Best to roll with more than just two. But, um, yeah, uh, let me see here, but yeah, oh, over at the smithy here, um, I can customize weapons, like, literally add components to the weapon. This is a weapon I've been working on so far. Um, and I, you can, basically, I mined iron ore, and I'm placing additions onto this iron greatsword here, and that increases damage, but certain bosses drop special cubes, like this one here, on the corner here, is the wind spirit cube, which increases, basically increases your attack speed, and, um, your overall speed in general, which is really good for my greatsword. But I added this line right here of iron, which increases the damage. And here is fire spirit, which adds um, fire damage. So I'm going to rotate and see if I can just slot it in side here. If it'll let me. It's kind of hard to get it. Where you want it. Like, I think you can slap it anywhere you want, but I don't want to make it look like a mess. Per se. There we go. And slowly you like, have a really custom looking um, weapon. Which is really cool. I have that one. I threw uh, element onto that. I want to throw an element onto this one, but I can't seem to do it. Uh, but there's a bunch of other elements. There's elements that help, you know, the health steal, health leech when you kill enemies. And a whole bunch of other stuff. It's, it is like, it, they it see it's simple enough to get into, but like, like there's enough depth in there for you not to get too bored with that. There's a lot of stuff planned in addition to what they have right now. What they have, like, I've probably already put about 20 hours into this game, if not more. But um, they plan to add a lot more intricate stuff, a lot more intricate quests. Right now, the uh, NPCs in this village are, uh, they are just, um, they sometimes give you, um, quest locations. They, um, well, not quest locations, but area locations. They'll mark places on your map. 
and the swords on the map like this one here and that one there there's that Nakra Nakra uh, Palace I have not been there but NPC gave me the location so I can actually head out there and check that out but fighting bosses generally gets you um, the special spirit cubes for the elemental stuff I'm gonna head over to the freaking inn here and uh, talk to the innkeeper and turn it over to day real quick sleeping also um, gets your health back up I talk to him and then it resets the time to 700 hours 7 o'clock in the morning but there's campsites there's friendly NPC parties running around there's enemies running around out in the world it's really cool um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make my way to Narca Palace and uh, there seems to be a boss along the way I'll try to hit that up um, I'm in a offline uh, mode right now I believe the multiplayer gets up to four players at the moment um, I do play with a friend but he's off at work right now so I can't really uh, hit the server I think he had like a, uh, a dedicated server set up momentarily on his computer Oop. whoops are those friendlies? good these are friendlies right here bunch of frog people I'm gonna eat up food, I'm gonna try to save my potions for something a bit more important I finally figured out what the candles were good for. They're good for placing in uh, caves that you find. Caves is where you generally find ore. And most caves are at the large mountains. Yeah, Kevin. But yeah, like, I'll let you know when we're, like, running a server. Because the more the merrier. Like, we can clear castles just the two of us but it's a lot faster and easier when there's more people because we generally end up having to kite every now and then when we first start out when we first started out our lower levels dude it was it was a grind we grinded a castle like for an hour to, and we finally worked our way to the boss in the meantime enemies were respawning back where we had last killed them it was tough but and we leveled pretty hardcore from it though Yeah, I think Prince would probably be interested in this game for sure. <laughs> it is freaking amazing. Just the problem is, people are all trying to buy the last game, and uh, I'm level 14 warrior in the Berserk tree. I don't know how to switch over to the Guardian tree, but I'm actually starting to like the Berserk. Now, I can harvest stuff by attacking it, and like this dropped a log, and you take, you convert the log over to, um, like wood blocks, and like that's useful. Um, loot is not shared, so, but you do have a chat log to see who's looting what. So if somebody needs something, it's kind of an honor system right now. So, I mean, you're generally playing with friends anyways, so you don't really have to worry about that. There's no... There's no server browser, it's all kind of via IP connections, so somebody sets it up on the computer, you get, oh, ooh, iron ore. Sweet. Wow, this is the first time I've seen something floating right like that. Alright, two iron pieces, I'll throw that into my equipment later. But when specific equipment you like starts getting under leveled, you get platinum coins from bosses. You use these platinum coins and you go to a adapter and he basically levels that item up to you know your current power level, I should say. Not your like there's power level and then there's like your level level. It's 
two d separate things yet the same. It's kind of odd like that. I'm going the wrong way. Oh well. Whoa! I almost died. Alright, I'm gonna just check out that boss out there then. But you can kinda, I think you can only adapt a weapon once though. And then that's that. I've tried adapting the weapon again, but it wouldn't work. I can cook stuff at the fire. Different food, do different things. Generally, this, uh... Generally, it's just a health boost. And as you level, they give you, uh, you know, better recipes. But I believe you can discover new recipes by finding food, like in castles and whatnot. And using them allows you to gain the recipe. It's a little bit buggy trying to sleep on these things right now. Yep, yep, there we go. Lie down, face down, sleep, and I'm good to go. I meant to go north. I really want to go north, but... I don't know, I'm already south, and I guess I can just hit up that boss right there. And, like, you discover stuff along the way. It's like, it's you never really know what you're going to run into. It's pretty fun. I still have yet to, like, find a desert. But evidently I have a recipe to make some type of cactus pie or something. Um, no. The monsters are generally always present. Maybe at some point he'll have timed generated monsters but as it is right now what you see out in the world is what you'll generally run into no matter what time of day it is it's just when it's dark you have to be really careful not to uh, run into stuff that's way too high level for you um, you can find like random like there'll be the randomest like boss mobs that will be out in the world that um, will give give you a good XP and whatnot. That's a friendly. Um, um, well, sleeping's main purpose is to regenerate your health. Um, but it does accelerate the time. Um, one minute is an hour, uh, but, like, if you're sleeping, it accelerates, if somebody's sleeping, it accelerates the time for everybody else as well, or what people can do, if you're near an inn and you talk to the innkeeper, it just resets the time to, it moves the time to 7 o'clock in the morning just by talking to an innkeeper. But, like, general sleeping just accelerates time, so the only way you can really skip overnight is for somebody to go to the inn and talk to innkeepers. And that resets it to 7, or pushes, advances it to 7, I should say. I'm surprised I hadn't run into any enemies. Generally, there's plenty of mobs running about. This seed seems to be a bit more passive. But, oh, there we go. Time to own some noobs. I hear combat somewhere. Where exactly? I do not know. Now, when you increase your climbing, your stamina goes down a lot slower, which helps out a lot. There's certain spots where you kind of need to climb and... It most definitely does the job.
It's another random campsite. Generally, there's NPCs wandering about the campsites, but... Um, tried what exactly? I want to fight those guys. They're a pain in the butt. Brother giant, fight a giant troll. Now you might see these statues about. Those are respawn statues. When you get killed, you respawn at one of the nearby statues. There's plenty of them around, so it's not like you get killed and you get sent all the way back to town or something like that. So you're generally able to run back and um, help your friends out when you're playing with them. You don't seem to lose defeat ruler in uh, dark, uh, dark core um, forest. Oh, so I found, okay. I got a boss fight and an objective here. First things first, oh, whoa. Plus two undead. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. These guys might be a bit more I can chew off, chew by myself here. And I hate fire mages with a passion. Ah, die! Oof. Damn. That could have been a lot worse. Hate fighting mages. Man, they're all up in this forest, man. There is There is a lot of these guys. I have to be careful the way I engage. Always go for the mage first. gear two star that's interesting well since nobody's around let me heal up via the old uh, mat here alrighty I need to figure out where this boss is alright they're all camped out in this forest Got to be careful not to hit a too large of a group. Probably be a giant skeleton guy or something. Oh yeah, buddy! Oh, hey, hey, hey! It's mine, not yours. Die. 
Oh, really? You run into? There we go. Wow, this is a good haul. Oh, really? That nabbit. Oh heck, freaking spellcaster. No, thank you. Oh, great. What we got here? Wow, that's pretty good. All right, where is this boss guy at? Uh, is that a friendly band of adventurers? Nope. Bunch of orcs looking for blood. Is that the guy? He has wings, that must count for something. No, that's not the guy. All by your lonesome. Share him. There's a witch. Sheesh. This freaking campsite for freaking skull guys. All right, let's see. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> Dang, man.
guy moves fast. Oh, crap. There he is. <sighs> he has a lot of mobs around him. I don't think I'll be able to take his butt down. Like there's two guys, one's great sword, and one is a uh, berserker. Both berserk, so probably focus on the ads, get killed, come back, and finish off the boss. Ugh. Oh, you're a freaking caster! Get out of here. Wow, that thing has one heck of a crit. It's hard with that huge bow of his, too. I'm barely scratching him. He is still at a decent amount of health. I just pulled another guy. Great, I think he pulled in some peons. Oh, what the? Oh no. Dagnab. 
Yeah, that guy's gonna require two. There's too many mobs around him for me to focus in on him alone. Unless I like, I need to come back a lot higher level to free, to freaking uh, take his butt down. See what else we got going on here. I'm gonna probably hit up this mountain here and hang glide my way back toward town. Maybe discover some stuff along the way. I'll put some additions onto my uh, like my sword and axes. I generally roll my great sword from rolling with friends because I don't have to worry about uh, putting out as much DPS. I can do a lot more crowd controlling knockbacks and the heavier hits. Man, I keep getting turned around in this place. No, no, I'm not gonna try that. Did it? Back into the first. You look all lonely and stuff. Oh, and there's your friend. I haven't messed with pets yet. There's a weird kind of system for pets. But I believe you eventually can level up to actually... Uh, have rideable pets. Which would be actually quite useful. There's horses, there's peacocks, there's... Just random dogs like collies and terriers, you know. A lot of cats and whatnot about. Well, this open broadcaster is freaking awesome. I don't know why I was messing with that free exploit garbage. Who are you? Oh, you are friendly. What's up, bro? Okay, whatever. But, like, there's a lot of potential in this thing, and, like, this is just, oop -a -a -a. this is just alpha, and, um, this is the alpha he's been working on for, like, over a year to get to the, to the releasable alpha build, per se. So this guy's really into making sure it pans out properly. He doesn't want to half-bake it, it seems. There's some cows, you can tame them, you can kill them, you can do whatever you want with them. Don't give me much XP. I had a crow drop a 
pretty awesome sword at one point though. It was funny. Ooh, now this will be interesting. Where's my lamp? Come here. I'll drop a candle here so I don't get lost. See if I can find some ore. I have no idea what those mushrooms do just yet. Alright, well, iron ore and bats. Ooh, sweet! Alright, what I just picked up is a leftover. And there's an inspector in town that basically inspects it and gives you like a random nice piece of gear. So, that is an awesome get. I mean, sometimes it's gear for other classes, which is kind of lame, but still good stuff. Uh. <laughs> I'm bad outside, just got owned. I'm assuming that guy's friendly. Great skull bull up on the mountain. That's what I do not need right there. No. Yeah. Alright. Need to figure out which way I need to jump. I need to jump that away. Cruise over the river, should be okay. But as far as I can tell, you can keep slotting skill points into uh, whatever indefinitely. <laughs> I'm not completely sure on that. I've only gotten to level 14, so that's only 14 skill points I've slotted so far. Let's see if I can get over to that plateau and get my stamina back. See a battle off to the left. I'll check that out. Blech. Alrighty, are you friendly undead? No, you're not. Hi. Die. I freaking placed an AOE right there. Alright. Well, my hand gliding so far is only so-so. I can't really stay up in the air as long as I would like to. If, uh, at level 5. Uh, what was from my mind? Oh, the, oh, you're talking about the, um... That one stuff, yeah, uh, the leftovers. The leftovers drop off of just any mob, as far as I can tell. Um, so you, it, it's not from mines, but it's generally just from any mob you fight. I don't think bosses drop them, though. That was a bit too close. What we got? Battered Iron Dagger for Rogue. What is this? Not as good as what I have, so put that away. And the, um, like the shoulder pads I have on my character right now, uh, Kevin actually picked up from, uh, he got from inspecting the leftover he found, and it has yet to be replaced. And, um, I don't think I adapted it either. Let me. Yeah, it hasn't yet to be replaced. I couldn't use it for a while though. But once I got my power level to 26, I was able to equip it and I've not found anything better. 
I need to go ahead and eat some foods. I'm trying to save my potions for when I actually need them in combat. Alrighty. Should still be heading the right direction. This river is now branching away from where I want to go. So, goodbye river. I want to get to town and just follow this road here. It should get me there. The problem about following the road is if you don't branch out a bit and explore, is you're less inclined to see crafting materials and plants that you can harvest. Ooh, sweet. I'm going to climb this and hang glide. But, yeah, I'm still not sure on there being more than one village. I assume that there is not more than one village. Bugs wise, um, I have not actually run into any bugs. There was a small patch that happened, uh, I believe yesterday, that resolved, not necessarily, but, well, yeah, they were kind of like bugs, there were more exploits than bugs, but like, there was only a few things patched. It's really polished for the most part though, um, I hadn't had any crash or performance issues. Except when I'm trying to, I'm running this live stream here, the performance is taking a bit of a hit, which makes sense for the most part. Um, I'm trying to get, uh, you see me collecting these mushrooms, these mushrooms are part of a recipe. So far, it, the biggest recipe for like food is like two items. The heart flowers are obviously used to make potions. Um, certain, um, components for a recipe does require you to kill an enemy, and, like, they'll drop, like, onions or whatever that you need. Um, this guy is not that type of en enemy. Um, I want to keep going this way. But yeah, I have not run into too many bugs as of yet it's been pretty clean oh it's just you again But, um, yeah, I have fought some really, like, the biggest thing I've fought so far is a troll, which is huge. It's this ridiculously big monster. Uh, first time I fought was with a friend. Second time I fought, um, it was, uh... By myself, I soloed one, but I was at a level uh, that I could actually handle that particular boss. But I want to get back to town and get this leftovers uh, checked out. Now you can't mess with your inventory and move at the same time, which is kind of a bummer. You have to stop to do anything with any menus. But that's okay. 
generally you shouldn't be multitasking in the middle of a battle or in a danger zone anyhow. But still, wouldn't wouldn't mind that uh, being an uh, actual function in the future. Oh, there's a village right there. Or town, I should say, or city. Actually, I believe it's a city. Hey, you see there's a farm field right over here I'm flying toward. Um, there's plants that can be harvested out of these fields. Most of the time, nothing in these fields here, but here's some pumpkins I can grab. And I can make, um... Uh, some pumpkin stuff. The items are capped at one stack of 50. As far as I can tell you can have multiple stacks of the same type of item. Uh, Alright. I'm going to keep working on this sword here. Ah, that's right. Forgot I need to go and smelt the goodies. Sometimes you do get critical success with um, when you're crafting uh, or at least refining resources, and you can see that I'll get uh, you hear that little chime. I'm getting uh, two instead of one cube from the uh, the iron ore I harvested, which is always awesome. I can't do anything with the wood cube because I need to go over to the saw for that, and I can create water flask if I'm near water or in water. So that's how that kind of rolls. All right, so I have 20 cubes. I'm just been slowly working on the design here, and the plan is to have a solid line of these cubes right down the length of the sword. I believe you can rearrange rearrange the um, items as well. Alright, so I got that all done there. Where is my That's the that's the the great axe I picked up. I don't know if that's better than my sword. Oh wow, it's hella better than my sword. I need to see if I can get my sword adapted up. It's only plus. It's only 29 power. This one's 36, and it does a heck of a lot more damage. Tempo's also way better. Crit's not as good, but dang, I need to check in on that. All right, I have the fire cube on this one here. And what I'm going to do now is boost its damage by adding iron blocks. Alright. But I need to see if I can get my, my two-handed sword adapted. Or I'm gonna have to uh, dump the sucker. All right, I need to find. I'm in like the crafting district right now. I need to find the uh, trade district. That is somewhere around her. There's some other stuff. Generally, the rangers up in here and the mage for their gear. 
Supposedly the rogue is, actually wears cloth as well, so that's something. All right. Um, I'm in the, the uh, adventurer district. Training dummies. You can test out your metal. See what kind of damage you can do. And then in here is the guy I talked to to get my equipment upgraded. Unfortunately, I think you can only adapt once. So I might have to drop my uh, great sword for a new one. They probably need to do some balances and checks on that because I really wanted to uh, keep with... Uh, So I can adapt this. That's 48 coins to adapt that sucker up. It gets expensive. And I only have 30 platinum coins from bosses I've been fighting. I got You get around like 12 or more coins off of boss fights when you're victorious. Good amount of XP for sure. Um, that's an inn. I need to find the inspector. Here's the trade district. Armor. I don't remember leaving that door open. Uh, da -da -da. That's the general goods there. Just an inn, of course. No, that's just a house. The inn's over here. Too many inns. Here's the trade district. But this city's kind of borked the way the districts are laid out. The city, uh, me and uh, Kevin were playing in. Clouded Unknown on YouTube. Uh, was a bit more organized because I can't find the freaking uh, inspector guy. I need to get this uh, leftover inspected. As if I lost them, lost the uh, the stores in this place. Whoop! Oh, there you are. Sheesh! Why is it way over here? All right. Um. Yes, I found something for you to identify. To identify that, and what I get: unique iron X plus one. That sounds pretty low level, I think. Where is it? Well, that would have been awesome, like, ten levels ago. Now, it's kind of crap. Rats. It's not worth much either. None of these NPCs have anything for me at the moment. Fist punch! Falcon punch! Falcon punch! Wow. Alrighty. But yeah, there is only so much you can do up front with the alpha right now. 
but that being said, there's like just so much stuff you can explore and interesting things to see so far. Um, again, uh, just as much fun when you have friends to roll with. I think the it's capped off at like four players, four player co-op for now. I don't know if they're going to increase that or not. But that is what they're rolling with. So here's hoping that uh, it opens up a bit more. I'm going to go ahead and close the stream here. Uh, if there's anybody else watching, thanks for watching. This is